Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at the Mighty Mini Tropos of Marnie, Iowa, Baxter Cycle, and look what we've got in front of us. This is a video of opportunity. We are going to take this thing for a ride. This is a 1948 500 cc Triumph T100, and uh, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to see if I can get it to start first. If I can get it to start, I can ride it. There we go. Get a little noise. <laughs> oh man, this is just bizarro. Wonder what the gearing is. I know it's a four speed on the right. Well, we are gonna find out. 1948. Look at the speedometer, it starts up here and goes down like this. Smithland gauge, Smith's gauge. Oh. <laughs> Let's check the brakes. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. 1948, 500cc, I think it's 498cc. Triumph T500. I think I'm in second gear. We had a big windstorm here in Marnie, Iowa. Tree limbs down everywhere. Wow, this is amazing. It handles like a 1948 Triumph T100. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? This is a real privilege, my friends. A real privilege. No mirrors, so I can't see what's behind me. <laughs> this suspension has got some weird characteristics. Howdy. Wow, this is a real treat. I am just blown away, guys. I am just blown away. <laughs> it's a learning experience of the neutral. We're just babying it because we don't know much about her. What a grin. What a grin. Motorcycle part. There's motorcycle park over yonder. Okay, it is one down and three up. What a hoot. We are gonna do a quick run on the road. Oh wow, the suspension is definitely not modern. I'm getting pretty good with the right side shift. We are not going to go very fast. I'm going to... It's just... Uh, I'm not familiar with this bike. And this one has some truly odd feelings. It's set, Let's see, it's a 48, so that would be what? 75 years old? Crazy. I think we're in... Nope, there's the fourth gear. What a treat! What a treat! Thank you, Baxter Cycle. BaxterCycle.com. Give those guys a try. Wow, this thing is amazing. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> it's got the chrome on the tank, silver on top, and it's really neat. I think that's a blue stripe. Look at all this. This is a choke. I don't know what that is. That's a horn. I think that's a kill switch. Throttle, friction throttle. Wow, I am so impressed. Steering dampener. Now I don't have a... <laughs> the front fork's got some issues, my friends. I don't have any mirrors, so we are going to uh, do this slowly. The road is clear. What a beautiful thing. What a beautiful thing. I am absolutely in love. 
Look at how that speedometer clicks. Isn't that amazing? What a treat. What a beautiful thing. I am just so impressed with this. It's a 500cc air-cooled parallel twin overhead valves. Cams are in the, in the engine compartment in the cam chest below. Push rods operating. I think they're supposed to be like 32 horsepower. This is supposed to have a uh, monoblock carburetor, but it has a uh, I'm all concentric on it. And uh, you know, when the bike's this old, a lot of things have changed over the years. It's got the big sprung hub on the back. We'll go over here in a minute when we stop. What a treat. What a real treat. Again, thank you, Baxter Cycle. If you're interested in this bike or any uh, classic vintage bike like this, go to BaxterCycle.com. Yeah. They've got the largest vintage British motorcycle parts collection in North America. Just amazing. What an amazing machine. What an amazing machine. <laughs> I am so impressed. So impressed. Wow, this has been a real thrill, my friends. Let's see if we can get this stopped without causing any damage. Look at this beautiful collection of bikes. Tigers. Rocket 3. More Triumphs. Beautiful Royal Infields. My Triumph over yonder. All right, I wonder how I shut it off. It's a mag bike. <laughs> okay. Gosh, I hope it has a side stand. Well, I wonder how I deal with that. I do not see one. Let's see if I can drop a uh, 70 some odd year old bike. Okay, here we go, guys. It's got the rear stand. Beautiful, we got it. Okay, a uh, quick rundown on what this thing is. First off, I'm absolutely amazed, impressed, Ecstatic, wow, just blown away. 1948, Triumph 500, Tiger, T100. Uh, just a beautiful machine. Uh, the Speed Twin had come out earlier. Same displacement, this had more cam, a little more compression. It's supposed to have a monoblock carburetor. This one has a concentric. Uh, Four-speed transmission, pre-unit engine. There's the gear indicator stuff right there, I guess. Dry sump oil system. Uh, Magneto, that's not a Lucas. I don't know what brand that is. BHT. If you all know, post below, please. Uh, six volt generator over here. Push rods up the front. Cams are located here and here. There is a, uh, when this bike is running, I think this pops out to, get, to let you know if there's oil pressure. Here's where you put the transmission oil in. Kickstart only. Toolkit right there. There's that giant sprung hub. I, uh, the suspension felt different to me, and that's because I'm not used to riding these old bikes. Modern bikes, you know, they worked out a lot of differences to make them more rideable. This is still in the, uh, you know, 70 some odd years ago. It's still a primitive motorcycle by those standards. Big old mechanical brake worked just fine. I love, I love mechanical back brakes, even on modern bikes. Uh, look at the, uh, it's got a lug frame. The lugs are these cast iron fittings here that are fitted with metal tubes. Here's the, uh, and those lugs are, you'll see those all over the frame. Here's an air pump for the tire. How you adjust the back brake. What a, what a machine, what a machine. Look at how these knee pads are set into the tank. Isn't that amazing? Look at all that chrome. Beautiful seat. I can't pronounce that word. L-Y-C-E-T-T, -T, made in England. Giant springs, chrome springs, chrome, chrome pipes, chrome tank. Chrome, chrome, chrome everywhere. Chrome levers, chrome bars, chrome tank. I'm sorry, chrome oil lid here. Just a, oh, I'm excited, my friends. I think it's a single leading shoe, seven inch drum on the front. And I believe it's the same thing on the rear. Uh, I, I don't know how to tell. You know, it's got that hub. No swing, or it's a rigid frame. The, all the suspension for the rear is actually in that giant hub there. So here's the back of it, that nifty little tail light. Triumph, isn't that cool? It's got this little raised ridge here, colored black, silver and silver with the blue stripe. Looking up that way, the chrome 
springs, the seat, the big giant seat. Look at this gorgeous thing here. Isn't that just amazing? You know, amp gauge, oil pressure. I'm guessing, I don't know what this is, headlights maybe? Yep, that's just what it did. And this is a, I'm not going to open this, but if you had trouble on the side of the road, you would open this up. There's a little light in there that turns on. You can get a little cord, use it to see. Steering dampener here. Uh, on this side, clutch. Not sure what that is. Horn. Uh, jumping over here. Choke. Kill switch, which we used. Fuel and the brake. Smith's gauge in the middle. It's a chromatric, chrono, chronometric, or whatever they call it. And that was kind of cool to watch. It took, you know, went up in increments. There's a guy here in Iowa that does repairs on those. He does a great job. Look at this. I'm not sure what that badging is. My eyesight's not good enough to tell. Just a beautiful thing. So it's got uh, telescoping forks. I think the first year for the telescoping forks for the Triumph was 20, uh, 46. And this is a 48. You know, the metal fender. I think this thing here, if you have a flat on the front, you unbolt this, push it down, that'll hold the tire up while you do the work. Look at those beautiful rims. You know that when we looked at the other day, there was a thing here where you could unbolt the back fender. I wonder how that works here. Looks like you must unbolt it from, uh, from the actual back of the bike. Very different, very different. Let's see, what else can I tell you all about it? I love the headlight. I don't know if you guys can see, it kind of looks like a cat eye right here. Beautiful, beautiful machine, beautiful machine. Hey, I am Fuzzy Biker. I'm here in the mighty Minitropolis of Barney, Iowa at Baxter Cycle. If you all are interested in newer used Triumphs, newer used Royal Enfields, or classic British bikes like this, give those guys a holler. BaxterCycle.com. Now, it's a beautiful day out. I'm going to go hop on that red Triumph over yonder and go for a ride. Y'all do the same. Life is great. Wahoo!